Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you guys are all doing well and we continue my journey to complete Scorched Earth and Ark Survival Evolve. Previously, we managed to do a little bit of basic expanding and I've added some electronics, but unfortunately the generators on this map degrade at an alarming rate and they're just not a viable option. As you can see, if I hold down H, we get a 65% coverage of wind in this location and unfortunately the wind turbines weren't working. Well, I've had another go, I've put another one in and it does appear to be working. If we come inside here, if you just excuse my messy wiring, I've managed to hook it up and the generator is currently switched off, but they just degrade at such a rate that they're just not a viable option on this map. I'm going to repair it and keep it switched off. We'll just use it as a backup. I tried using some air conditioners to slow this degrading down and it has worked a little bit. So I'm just going to keep it as a backup option and fortunately the wind turbine placed where it is is working I only need enough power really to do the chemistry bench maybe a couple of fridges of course they do go down when the storms come in but as long as I can use that chemistry bench I'm okay with that so fortunately the wind turbines are working now I have been looking really hard for another RG there's a gold drop I think I might just go and grab that and today I'm not going to stop until we find something decent because I can't go stealing with an eggs with just the one RG. In case I lose Devil, I need some backups. Not only that, it has become a pain carrying the metal back to the base and I just need a little bit more help with that. So if we can get another decent level female RG today, that's going to really, really help things out. So what we got here then in the gold drop? Let's have a look and nothing of value in here but there are a few Jaboas here so perhaps I'll grab one of these as they're so close to base. I do end up losing the Jaboas sometimes so maybe having an extra one around the base might help me out. I've got some plant species X at back at the base so I'll grab that and tame that little fella up. Nothing really of value in that drop there. So plan today is I want to hunt around for another RG. Of course, like I said last week when we was hunting for one, we need an RG in order to craft larger saddles. But not just that, I'm going to need them when I go into that Wyvern Trench. I don't want to just risk it with having the one bird. Rock Golem sat in a tree there. Level 90, not much good. I really need to be hunting around for the RGs. That's my problem. I always end up looking at levels of everything and uh, come back with what I didn't need. And hang on a minute. Ooh, a level 140 rock golem. Um, that would be really, really useful. And... Uh, um, Right, no, we'll just continue looking for the RG. Perhaps we'll come back. I know where it is. It's not going to move if we don't disturb it. Just get rid of this Carno. I need a little bit of meat on Devil. Um, but a Rock Golem would be a really handy addition to the group. I've got an idea of how we can use it. Of course, we can't use them in the boss battle themselves. But, um, oh, I think if we got a level, or is it... Um, yeah, we've got another level. Okay. The levels come few and far between once you get to level 105. And I think I might put one more point in fortitude, bring that up to 24 points in fortitude. But uh, let's just carry on with what we were doing. We need to find a half decent RG. Unfortunately, all I tend to find are low level ones. What are you? Oh, hang on. 110 female okay that's the first rg other than devil i've seen that's plus 100 and i think this ledge actually might do quite well for putting a trap down so i'm going to go for that one we need we need something i'll settle for a 110 and i'll get rid of this one just in case it gets involved in a fight yeah, all the RGs have been pretty low level, like that one there. 
Um, a 110 will do just nicely. I think Devil was a 120. And let's say largely I'm going to need them for crafting in the saddles. And it's just a case of... It's just becoming a pain to t take all of the metal down off the mountain. All I've got is Devil here and I'm making a lot of trips backwards and forwards. So a group of birds is going to help me gather more metal. Um, so I've got some trap here. Usually do the same thing as before. We'll just put four of the dino gates down and aggro that bird this way. So I've shown you how to do this a few times, but if we get a male and female, do some breeding, argies won't be a problem. And then when I go hunting for wyvern eggs, well, if all goes wrong, at least I've got backups. And I'll just get some dinosaur gates on here. One there like so. And... Yeah, that's the first other RG I've come across that's plus 100, so I'm kind of giving up on the RGs. I think these two are going to have to do it. But uh, there's that 140 rock golem back there. Perhaps we could go for that. Well, one step at a time. Is that the one? Yeah. So, yeah, it is a female. Okay, devil, let's... Um, Bring her over this way. Into the trap. Just let her aggro devil and... Uh, we've got a fairly safe place to trap it there. Okay. That's it. You come this way. So we'll just get lined up. Currently got devil on passive. So when I jump off the bird, it won't aggro. And we'll just bring it this way. Bring Devil down here around behind the trap. And I've lost aggro. If we can just get a shot in on it. That was a miss. And that's it, you come down this way. Okay, that's a hit. And this time I'm going to wait in here a little bit, just get hit, there we go, and before we close the door, otherwise sometimes they escape, there we go, that managed to get it, made, made sure we had the aggro this time, but yeah, it's a fairly easy technique once you've got it down, and this RG, quite nice colours actually, but a 110 and a 120 is going to have to do in this run. It's going to be more than enough, especially if we plump plenty of weight. And like I say, we haven't got classic flyers on here, so we can't really pump speed. And when it comes to grabbing the wyvern eggs, I think I'm going to have to do it on an RG. There's not really much in the way of options when it comes to scorched earth. Okay, that's our RG all tamed up. Just grab my kibble back before you eat all of that. And check our stats. Not the greatest, but weight isn't too bad. And if we get some breeding done, we put a full imprint on these ones that we breed. I'm sure that's going to be plenty enough to get us through this map. They're more important on the island map than they are on Scorched Earth. By the time we get some wyverns, then the RGs are probably going to be used less. But of course, I'm still going to need to be crafting in their saddles. And they're still a great help when it comes to carrying metal back to the base. So, now I'm really tempted to build a trap and go for this rock golem here. A 140 rock golem would really actually help out. And I've got some plans on how to use them on this map. Like I say, of course, we can't use them in the boss fight. But I do have an idea, so I think I'm going to go and craft up a cannon and make a trap for that golem. Okay, I'm just back at base and I've decided we're going to have a go at taming this rock golem. 
Now, in order to tame these guys, you need a cannon and cannonballs. I know you can do it with the rocket launcher, but that does far too much splash damage and really drops the taming effectiveness down. That's if you don't kill it first, so the cannonball method is definitely the way to go. Also, I just want to point out that the method of taming a rock golem and jumping off your bird with a parachute no longer works and it was a little bit OP to begin with. The rock golem will immediately start aggroing on you as soon as you jump off the bird and I have tried it, it will not work. Now, as for jumping off the rock golem and using a glider suit, that method could still possibly work but that would be cheating in my playthrough that particular amgram is not open until we get to aberration so i'd have to spawn one in to be able to do that so in this case i cannot use the glider method and the parachute method has been patched so we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way and that's with a trap looks like i need to grab some more obsidian in order to craft some more ammunition so we're gonna head out and stock up on some cannonballs and we'll set up our trap Okay, I think I'm about ready to go. I've built my old fashioned trap here. It's nothing special and I use a combination of pillars, ceilings and walls. Now, a lot of guides will tell you to use metal pillars and I never bother because it takes the rock golems a long time to smash through stone as it is and hopefully we'll have it knocked out before it completely knocks all of this stuff down. I always find stone is fine and you're wasting your materials if you're going to stick down a bunch of metal. But at the same time if you're running an S plus mod and you can pick up what you're crafting then fair enough but this will be adequate or at least I'm hoping it was, it always used to be. It's been a while since I've grabbed one and that's what I mean, I have this natural gully coming down here on evil side so this method is really really easy to build uh, it's literally just a case of putting the pillars up they naturally space out that way Ooh, we've lost aggro and we just want to aggro it over close enough now the idea behind this is that the pillars are high enough that the rock golem can't chuck any stone over the top of them and just get rid of this vulture just in case it gets involved and the walls and them few ceilings that I've got there are there in order to stop splash damage. So hopefully the head should just sort of stick up above the ceiling there and I've got the cannon lined up ready to go. So let's give it a try. And there you go, so the pillars are high enough that it can't throw the rocks over the top and it will take a while for that golem to smash through this hang on where are you going we need to aggro it and you can see i've just i haven't put ceilings along the whole side just i want to try and get him into this corner and start smashing my pillars there and i think that'll do it yeah there you go and they can't chuck the rocks over the top so I think it's about lined up. We'll just turn it to the right, I think, one. And we need to get headshots. Now, the reason I've placed the wall in front of it is to avoid splash damage. And, okay, I'm not sure if that was a hit. You'll see it hold its head when we get a direct hit. Does this spin an attack? One more down. And that was a miss. Even though I'm destroying my own pillars here, they'll stay floating at the top. Why waste all of the metal pillars? There you go, that was a hit. That's what we want. And that's why I've placed the wall and ceilings just in front. It helps against the splash damage. There was another direct hit. So far, so good. And just wait for it to do its spinning animation. After that, that might have been a hit. We've got to we'll try and avoid that. We need the headshots only. So it does this little spin. And it comes down and smashes. There. 
now we shoot. I think that was a miss. Need to get this right. The more you miss the headshots, the more likely you are to kill it. There we go. You can see the animation, it kind of grabs its head. And that's how you knock them out. But yeah, I don't think I've seen many guides that tell you to use stone. I don't see why you would bother using metal and wasting all of them resources. You'll be here quite a while smashing that wall down before you can get through. And I'll either kill it or knock it out before that. And another headshot. We're doing pretty well. Made plenty of cannonballs up just in case. Okay. Again, just wait for that spin. One more and a smash. And now, there we go. Pretty sure it held its head up there. Just staying in the same area, this is quite good. I'm not having to move the cannon too much. Oh, too early, too early with that one. Okay, one more, and now, there we go, that was a headshot. We're doing pretty well. So yeah, I think fair enough, if you've got S plus and you can pick up your pillars and stuff, then yeah, by all means use metal, but Okay, so he's managed to knock the top down. I think that was also a combination of me hitting it with the cannonballs, but so now it can throw rocks over the top. Still, like you see, the wall is holding. I'm pretty confident I can knock it out before it gets through. I'll even knock it out or kill it. Okay, and it's down. Fantastic. Okay, well we did get a couple of missed shots there. It's not a hundred percent. Placing that wall and the ceilings just in front of it does help with the splash damage. Maybe you can adapt my method and perhaps put some more walls on there to make sure, but yeah, we knocked it down. So we got a couple of misfires, but for the most part, it was headshots. I'm really happy with that. And there's a couple of more rock golems around the side, so I can just rebuild these pillars and uh, I can perhaps use this trap again. I mean, why not? The cannon's set up here to go. Just get some more ammunition, rebuild them pillars on the top and we'll grab a couple more. But, fantastic. And, uh, yep, yeah, that's the way to tame the rock golem. Like I say, anybody who's saying that you can just jump off the RG and it will just stay aggroed on the RG, it doesn't work anymore, I can assure you of that. Perhaps the glider suit method works, but I can't test that without cheating. So, this is my way of taming the rock golem. And, well, it worked, so I'm sure this is going to help. I've got a really good of idea of what we're going to be able to do with the rock golem. Even though we can't bring it into the boss fight at the end, uh, it's going to be quite helpful. If nothing else, we've got another way to grab it, stone and sand. So yeah, a good success there, I would say. Okay, so I've managed to get the saddle all crafted and I'm really happy with this tame. Even though we can't use the rock golem in the boss fights, it won't allow us to take him in there. I've got a really good idea how we're going to use this to our advantage in a future episode. So I'm going to go with the naming rights tiers here. And Shazella, thank you very much for your support on Patreon. It really means a great deal. And please don't kick my ass for naming you after the rock golem. And um, you are going to be essential for me completing and soloing the arc. So, Shazella, thank you very much for the support on Patreon. And Shazella's a fellow arc streamer over on Twitch. In fact, I think she's currently streaming now on Twitch. So, in order to apologise, I'd better go over and chuck a few bits in her chat. I'm sure by the time she sees this episode, she'll uh, she'll be angry at me. So just remember, I came over and dropped some bitties in there. It's working on scorched earth right now. 
plus did a really informative and really helpful series on the artifact locations for Crystal Isles. Like, the videos are short and concise and full of information and all in a playlist. So if you struggle with getting artifacts, absolutely go check that out. He also has some good bits on uh, City Skylines right now. Oh, thank you very much for the shout out in chat, Shizella. I'm kind of feeling guilty naming you after the rock golem now, but if Twitch is your thing, go and drop a follow down with Shizella. Trust me, she is a master builder and often streams. And I managed to do a little bit of RG breeding. We managed to get near enough a full imprint on these guys. More importantly, the other one got a mutation, a cool blue hat mutation, and it was in weight. So probably the, the best stat I could have ended up with as these birds are going to be used mainly for crafting and carrying but we've now got a couple of birds to go into the wyvern trench and if everything goes wrong at least we've got some spare ones and it's not an all-out loss so we've managed to get the argies and a rock golem I feel today we've managed to make quite a bit of progress so don't forget if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. According to my stats, pretty much 80% of my viewers are not subscribed, so I hope today's the day I've earned your subscription and you hit that little red button. And also, don't forget, if Twitch is your thing, give Shazella a follow, especially if you're interested in building. Take it from me when I tell you she does some absolutely fantastic detailing and uh, pretty much puts my stuff to shame when it comes to building so go and drop her a follow if twitch is your thing but that's about all the time i've got for this episode of complete scorched earth until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you